Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Champions video with your host Dragon here at Dragon Log Gaming. I am bringing you a new video. This video is to let you know what the up upcoming stuff is going to be. Uh, the developers have recently put on a uh, an update on to their discord server and on that update they tell us what's coming up next so i'm super excited about this uh i hope you guys are too uh but let's go ahead and get right on into it uh right now they're planning for the month of november a lot of stuff they are super super excited about sharing it and i'm sure you're excited to share it with you guys as well uh it says they're gonna have better memory management so the game will much be much more stable on older devices such as iphone 6 i pad air and etc um well that's really awesome uh i i'm play the game play that you see here is on my pc but my pc is not like a huge gaming pc or anything like that so as you probably have seen it does it does kind of run a little you know a little slow sometimes i have noticed that the gameplay footage that you have right now this is me inside the tournament uh the current tournament that is going on and it it, it's really it's running really really well uh with blue stacks emulator so but i haven't always had that it hasn't always done that you've seen where it's been pretty slow um and so i don't know if it was the emulator or if it's the the build sometimes all i got to do is just restart and put the build back on and it'll go just fine so um but i'm super excited about that i think that's going to be uh going to work out pretty nicely um so we're also what they're also going to have a new orc character diesel rog diesel rog is the new going to be the new orc character uh that's going to be coming out uh i don't know how many of you have hard orc uh he's pretty amazing i have i have him to be unlocked but i have not yet unlocked him uh and so that's kind of i'm kind of waiting on him uh Maybe I won't when this new character comes out. Maybe I'll want to do something different uh, on that. But that's really, really exciting news. Uh, new offers with skill scrolls. That's going to be cool. Um, I don't know what, exactly what that means if they're going to if it's going to be for. I assume offers, you know, like what we get um, for money. So new skill scroll offers. We're also going to be able to mark our favorite locked heroes for more comfortable farm. Um, we, you know, we. I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, this this was posted on Friday the forty nine uh, Friday, uh, November eighth. So it, we are looking at a few days from now. Uh, but I assume this is not what's come out yet because we have we haven't gotten new. I haven't gotten any new offers yet for for scrolls. Uh, but rune filter fix. So apparently there's something wrong where it won't it won't be the runes are will clear if you click on the amulet and that sort of stuff i i'm not really sure i know about that bug i'm not sure i've encountered it but that's what they're, they're gonna fix that tournaments they're gonna have tournaments for three and four star runes which is interesting uh we're gonna so it looks like we're gonna be bumping up to four star runes uh here soon battles won't be paused when opening the chat window uh let's see right here let's go ahead and hit the button and so we'll go we'll go back all right, it doesn't look like it's paused anyway, so maybe that's not really a thing. Um, and then also, another another thing is going to be abilities, uh, ability to change reward and slash in, in, uh, energy time two times a year. So I assume that's probably for, uh, you know, the ability to be able to help with daylight savings and that sort of stuff. And so we're, that's also going to happen. Battle, uh, non-active players won't be put into guilds a random guild anymore they will be without a guild after kick but will join a random guild when they enter the game again and so looks like they're they're going to be able to get into guilds that way and then of course if they want to get into a you know a different guild or a guild that's active or that sort of thing they can certainly do that as well uh, let's go ahead and just drop this one here And then what else? Uh, it says you'll be able to buy full items from the shop from the find screen. Um, currently, you can find them only if you go to the shop screen. So uh, if you have a full item that you can see, you have to go to the shop screen to get it. Uh, but now you're going to be able to go 
um, and get get it directly from the find, which was, which is super convenient. Um, I think for a lot of people, they can just go, oh yeah, I need that piece. I'm just gonna go and grab that piece, and so. Oof! Oh, don't die! Don't die! Here you go. There we go. There's a heal. That was a big AOE. I gotta get through Mr. Trumgard. Ooh, cheat death! Cheat death! Oh, this is not going well. At some point or another, things have gone very badly. Well, looks like I am going to lose this one. I was not paying. I think, well, I think some RNG happened. Uh, Trum, their Trum Guard started just destroying everything, and then I couldn't kill him fast enough, which can sometimes be an issue. So it looks like we're going to go ahead and lose this one. But let's go ahead and go back. Ads will be disabled. Uh... Oh, confirmation window for guild change. So there will be a confirmation window coming up for guild change. Ads will be disabled for players who have made few purchases. Um, and so I don't really know what that means uh, exactly. Like how many is a few purchases? We're not really sure. But what's going to happen is you're going to get 120 energy three times a day. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot. It's a lot of energy three times a day. I mean, that's kind of what we're getting anyway if you do the ads. Um, but that's 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 really good that's really good uh since we're making the video let's go ahead and just do this that way we have something going on in the background um option to prevent option to prevent guild invites if you are not interested in them so you can go ahead and we can do a better better invites and that sort of thing so uh, you know, they're going to have a better filter on that. If you don't like certain words that people have asked for that, you um, know, global chat, you know, you could disable global chat, but people use inappropriate language and, and some people get offended by it. And so you'll have the ability to take that out. There's going to be a timestamp in chat, which will be kind of nice. And then the last open channel will be saved when you enter the game once again. And of course, they're going to have a lot of bugs, fixes, stability improvements, and that sort of thing. So that's kind of what's going on. That's what's new. Um, that is what's new in the game. Also, there was some news as well today. It's, uh, this one comes from Emerald Dragon. He says, good news. Good news, good news, good news. We're actually going to attack Freezer this time. Um, we want to make him use his heal. I think that's really where we ended up messing up last time. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there is good news. He says, good news, champions. Today is an important and significant event took place. The wor world's first guild has reached 10... KK power. So we're talking a hundred. Um, I believe that would be 100, uh, 100,000 power. Uh, he says 10 KK could be 1 million power. I I'm not really sure. Uh, there is a link here. It looks like there is one. Yeah, it's 1 million power. Uh, and so 1 million power and then another guild and that guild was gods and legends. Um, they are all over my, they're all over my server. Um, in fact, I, I see them a good bit. Uh, I fight them every day, every day in the tournament. Um, and so, yes, they're, they're a great guild. I'm sure they do a good job. No, that is not, I, you know, no, I'm not in that guild, but they do. They're, they're good. They're, they seem to be good people. I've have, um, a couple of followers and subscribers on my channel who are in that guild. They seem great. Uh, so hats off to you guys, gods and legends, uh, for for go ahead and uh, getting getting that hitting that mark. That is really really awesome. Great work, great job. And then right after that, it says only a few hours later, second guild uh, broke the mark, and that was uh, the 1337. The 1337 was able to do it too. So hats off to you guys, 1337. And 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 that, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to slide this over real quick um, so you can see who the who these guilds are. Right? Pop this up on the screen here. Let's make it big so you can kind of see it. It's pretty awesome. So hats off to you guys um, for doing this. Gods, Gods and Legends and the 1337 congratulations to you guys for hitting that 1 million power that's a big accomplishment so 
I just wanted to give hats off to you guys as well. Here's why I love this game and the developers. I mean, gameplay is amazing. The characters are amazing. Uh, a lot of great stuff there, but here's why I love it. It says, we heartily congratulate our champions and hold our breath expecting to see the third finalist. And to express our gratitude and respect to players, as soon as the third finalist is determined, all members of all guilds who have entered the game over the last week will receive 300 energy and 30 green skulls as a gift from the administration. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So thank you so much, Emerald Dragon and the de development team for that. Um, for the update, uh, John the Guru, thank you so much again for the update and keeping us posted and that sort of thing. So thank you so much i don't want the video to be too long i know some of my other videos have been a little bit longer so let's do one more battle and i'm going to kind of talk you through what i'm doing here as you can see i've lost two battles only in this tournament um and i i'm playing basically the same teams over and over again i've got the number one guy here we're just kind of wasting through him my team that i am running right now is you know soleus lead with freezard and night el and uh Trump guard and then of course sharp because I have to and so let's go ahead and go into battle uh, real quick so one of the things I talked about in one of my other videos um, and this is kind of a whole video topic of itself but it just different strategies so as you saw in that last one what I ended up doing is especially with a healer here I want him to use his heal right away his big heal and if I attack, if I attack Freezard right away and get him down, he will do that. He will, you know, go ahead and go right after and use his big heal, even though he doesn't really need to. He could have healed Freezard um, with his other heal, but he didn't. And so it's kind of in our favor. We're just going to go ahead and attack. So, all right, he just used it. So now we have an opportunity. Now we have basically three turns to get through Trom Guard, um, which can be done. Um, can be done quite easily uh, most of the time. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, why not? Oft oftentimes we don't get to hit sharp. Oop. Game a little little lag there. This should be enough. There we go. Now and now he's done. And then we will go to Freezard. We'll just go ahead and actually kill Sharp. We'll hit this. Freezard has that cheat death mechanic, which is pretty crazy. But that right there should do it. And then we'll taunt again. Do the freeze. Smash a like. There we go. And then we're done. But see, so with Soleus especially, it seems like if you can get somebody down past half health, he'll use his ability. And that's kind of what I've been doing on this one. As you can see, I'm 33 and 2. Um, probably by time in the, you know, the end of this day, since I went ahead and did the refresh to make the video. It's because I didn't want you guys to just to be hearing my voice and not actually seeing anything. Um and that's kind of how that goes and i don't have see here's a gnl these guys this is the gods and gods and legends i believe is their name that's another one of their one of their peeps um snaps he's on my he's actually in my arena shard he's quite good um fighting him all the time and so that's really that's really about it um i don't like i said i don't want the video to be too long so i think i'm going to play one more one more match here to show you kind of the how this all works these these three these four here are really the the key to this uh particular everybody's basically running the same team but the strategy that i am imploring here employing employing not imploring but in you know actually doing uh is going after going after freezard so we can get his health down to pass health and and then Soleus is going to use his big heal. Even then, he should have cast it on on uh, Freezard. He did not. So 
we're just going to hit him once because we're not going to get him past. Soleus on his next turn will use his big heal, um, even though he really, really shouldn't, right? I mean, Freezard has... Nobody else is hurt. He should have just used his heal here. But, you know, once again, it's it's a... Uh, it's the it's the bot, right? It's the way the game, the AI tries to do it. So you gotta have to, you know, outplay the AI to a certain extent. Um, and in the beginning of the game, when we were all trying to figure this out a few weeks ago, all right, it was a little bit difficult to do. But now, like, see, I don't care about sharp. I'm not gonna use my ability. I'm just gonna still attack. All right, sharp can probably get AOE'd. That's fine. Uh, but look, we got through Tromgard. It's no big deal. We got through Tromgard just fine. And then we're going to go ahead and hit his regeneration. We are going to use this um, right now. Uh, and that'll be just fine. Um, ooh, ooh. So let's go ahead and hit. Let's go ahead and taunt. Probably could have waited. Um, because that got my guy killed there, but we'll just kill their, we'll just ability block their guy, and he'll cheat death, and we'll, ooh, he dodged, there we go. So we did lose our Soleus because we decided to heal. Um, Soleus' heal is so good that letting your guys get a little weak is not really a problem. But there you go. That's it. Well, tell me what you think in the comments uh, about uh, the new update. Are you excited? Are you looking forward to it? I just every week there's new stuff, new things coming, new things. Uh, you know, ability scrolls are so big. It's nice to hear that they're going to do something about ability scrolls. Uh, you know, give us something. It sounds like you're going to probably have to pay for it, but that's OK. If you have any questions or anything, hit me up. Uh, my email address is worse in the bottom there. You can hit me up on uh, Twitter. Uh, you know, I do do stream tomorrow. I plan on streaming uh, on Twitch my another run. Uh, what I'm actually going to do tomorrow, I think, is stream uh, what what I do on a day basis, like what I'm farming, that sort of thing. And so I'll make a video out of that as well. But if you have any questions or anything, uh, please drop them in the comments. I do check the comments and uh, or hit me up. I am on the Discord um, as well, the Discord server. Uh, you can send me a direct message on on the Discord server as well for this game. Uh, you drop a like on this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.